another episode of Create with Brenda. I'm Brenda Hillard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Today is Thursday, January 21st, and I'm bringing to you um, this month's Paper Pumpkin, January 2021 Sunday Hearts. And this set is so cute. Even if you aren't a Valentine sending person, this this kit is so fun and makes lots of different cards. I'm going to show you a few things, or I'm going to show you one of the things here today, the add-ons um, from the add-on kit. And um, be sure to check out my Pinterest board. Each month I post several different alternate projects that I do. So, and if you're interested in subscribing to Paper Pumpkin, I would love to have you join my Paper Pumpkin patch. And you can find that information at createwithbrenda.com if you have any questions regarding subscribing. Um, please contact me. I'd be happy to, happy to help. So, let's get started here. In this month's kit, they always give you directions, step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to assemble the cards. And like I said, that's per their instruction. So I like to think outside the box, but I always do at least one of the original layouts so that my customers can have a live look at what's at what they're supposed to look like. All right. So there's those. And I think they're super cute. On this one for the inside, I went back to January of um, 2020 and used the Happy Valentine's sentiment from that kit. So if you're wondering where that came from, that's the January 2020 Paper Pumpkin Stamp Set. And then here's the other card. And on the inside of this one, I did the same thing. So there's, there's the cards made like instructed. So that being said, let me bring in the add-on for this month. The add-on kit is this little package called Sending Hearts Add-on. It is order number 156842. It includes enough products to make 22 of these little boxes. And in the pack comes the little snails and then there's also a sheet let me grab one so you can see what they look like so you get sheets of the snails and then you also get sheets of um, labels and the labels are super cute. They're fancy with scalloped ends. And they fit the sentiments from the Paper Pumpkin Stamp Kit. All right? So, let me show you this little box I have for you today. All right. So the boxes are very easy to assemble. Um, they go together just like our our mini pumpkin boxes. So it starts out like this. And is what I found that I like to put in mine is a couple of the Nestle um, Butterfinger Hearts. So two of those fit in there really nice. And then um, I just measured the top lid of the box so that um, it 
I don't know if my recording's working, but I hope it is. All right, so as what I did was with one of the card fronts and measuring across the lid of the box, I found that these measured uh, about three and seven eighths, and then I cut that a half inch wide using our stamp and seal. I'll put these details on my blog, so don't worry about don't worry about the measurements for right now. All right, that little piece just fits right across the the top. And then in the kit this month, you get this black. I'd say it's probably a quarter of an inch wide. So as what I did was just wrap this around and this is what helps hold the, the box closed. And I'm just going to tie it in a bow. maybe <laughs> it's kind of slippery ribbon too so it makes it a little bit difficult but it can be done I've made lots of these so one more bow is gonna find its way onto one of these cute little boxes and I'm just gonna bring in my snip and snip the end of the ribbon and then you can always just um, pull to adjust okay all right so now look at this cute little die cut I have and this is from the snail dies so is what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over and fold this up and then I'm just going to bring in my bone folder and give this a good crease. I need my take your pick tool and my glue dots. I'm going to take one of those and this is just going to help seal the envelope so it stays closed and then I need one more for this top flap and I'm going to put that right there at the bottom so it doesn't show. Okay, so now we have our little envelope. Then I'm going to take one of the snails that came in the pack and I'm going to add a little stamp and seal to the bottom. You guys, my stamp and seal is getting low. Can you see the red? So hopefully, hopefully we make it through the video. Okay, so I put the little snail inside the envelope. And then earlier, I had stamped with Versamark one of the stamps that's in the Paper Pumpkin Kit this month, just the um, Hugs and Kisses XOXO. And then I embossed it with white embossing powder. So I'm just gonna cut a strip and I'm gonna freehand this. I probably have a die somewhere but like I said when I was putting these together I didn't think it was going to be a big deal just to snip these out and it wasn't so there's our little banner and again I'm going to add just a little bit more snail to that I'm calling it snail and I mean to call it seal sorry and I'm going to put that on the outside of our envelope and then in this month's kit, we got these adorable little um, heart. I forget what they call these, like um, um, enamel hearts. And the color on these is petal pink. And it looks really pretty on this pool party paper for the envelope plus it matches our snail so 
So I'm just gonna give, give our little project a few hearts. I think three, three is gonna be plenty. My fingers are so cold today, like they hardly even wanna move. I debated about doing this, but here we are. Okay, so my little hearts are on there. I'm going to add some seal to the back of the envelope. And then I'm just going to put that right here on our box. And who wouldn't love getting that, right? If you love these snails and you love the envelope dies, there is, there is the um, bundle out there, so give that a try. I hope you like today's little project and if you're interested in ordering the add-ons, I'd be happy to happy to help you with your order or be really happy if you shopped with me. This month is ce celebration. The next two months are celebration. So for every increment of $50, you get to pick um, a free a free item. So check it out at createwithbrenda.com and I hope you like today's project. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Rick, what do you need?